guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to learn how I turn into She-Hulk, keep on watching. Alright guys, let's get started. So first I'm grabbing this green paint from the brand called Bobby Suka. And I got this from Amazon, so I will link it down below just in case if you're interested. It wasn't that great in my opinion, but I mean, right here I'm just working with what I've got. And I just really wanted to make a She-Hulk video, so here it is. So first I'm just going to smear this crazy green paint all over my face. And originally I did I did want to apply it with a brush, but I tried different kinds of brushes and I don't know why it just wouldn't smear on as easily as I'm doing here with my fingers. So I ended up just doing it with my fingers instead and I also don't have anything on my face whatsoever. I did have some primer on beforehand and I tried applying the paint on top of that but I noticed that the paint wouldn't budge so I ended up just taking off any product I had off of my face and it worked better. I did notice that this paint is kind of like a buildable coverage but I didn't want it that opaque either so I just smeared it on as best as I could and I tried to blend it in on my face with my fingers and after my face is done I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my neck, my chest and a little bit on my ears as well just in case you're able to see them through my hair because again I do want to give the illusion that my skin is actually green and here I actually have some of the green paint mixed with a little bit of alcohol because that's what apparently the instructions say on the box that you could thin it out with alcohol I tried doing that but it didn't really help much at all like to apply it better so here I tried again with the brush but I don't know what it is but it just makes it look splotchy still so then after I was done with my ears I just grabbed some born this way Too Faced translucent powder and I just set in my whole face and anywhere that I applied the green paint and sometimes I regret doing that step I feel like if I was more experienced with painting my body green I probably would have just skipped it and I would have just gone straight to using the green eyeshadow but anyways so here I pulled out my Morphe Sour Patch Kids eyeshadow palette and of course I am using the bright green shade which is called Lime Burst and I'm just applying it all over my face and my neck and chest as well and now you're probably wondering why why is this girl making her life so much harder by using this tiny ass brush to put on all that eyeshadow right well I don't know why but for some reason any big brush whether it be dense or fluffy it would just not be able to pick up any of the eyeshadow or if it would it just wouldn't stick to me so that's why I just ended up using this tiny ass brush to like apply all that green shadow all over me. So after that I ended up picking up my Morphe Lucky Charms palette and using the color Leprechaun I'm just swiping that across all over my lid and I'm just doing this just to even out the color on my eyelid since I didn't apply the paint to them. And then grabbing the ColourPop Star Wars Mandalorian palette, the Baby Yoda one. And I'm just grabbing the color Sipping Soup, which is this beautiful olive green shade that has a lot of shimmer to it. And I'm just applying that on top of the other green shade. And now I'm grabbing the color Float Your Crib and I'm using that for my crease and my outer corner. Then after that I'm going back to my Lucky Charms palette and picking up the color Charmed which is this dark forest green shimmer. I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner but I'm also going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. Only because she does have like a nice green smoky eye on the show so I kind of wanted to mimic that. And now speaking of the show, I know a lot of people are bashing it online, but to be honest, I 
do kind of like it. Now, I agree with everyone that says that the last episode was kind of like, what the hell is this type of thing, but I did like some parts. Obviously, my favorite episode is when Daredevil showed up and, you know, she smashed them or whatever. <laughs> And so I do like the show because it is almost like a chick flick, but there were some parts of course that I wish could have been written differently. So in conclusion, WandaVision remains my number one, obviously, and Loki is a close second. And while I was talking, I did grab that same charmed eyeshadow and I applied it on my lower lash line, but I also sweeped it to my outer corner kind of to like connect the two of them. And then after that, I grabbed this beautiful Chanel gel eyeliner in black and I just did my cat eyes with it. And I also lined my waterline with it, which I don't know, like, is that okay to do, guys? Like, I've done that in the past before, it just feels kind of weird. I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong since it's not coming out of, like, eyeliner pencil. But anyways, that's what I did. And I kind of closed my eyes shut for, like, a small second just to kind of, like, transfer it to my top line, too. So now moving on to brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow palette and of course using the black shade which is called Granite. Well, I started filling up my brows with the black powder and then I realized after brushing them out, my brows looked a little bit too sparse still. So I remembered I had some NYX brow tint mascara and I ended up using that over the powder and this is in the shade black. And then after my brows, I curled my lashes and I applied on some falsies and these are called Chic. And while I waited for my lashes to set into place, I went ahead and I used the Sephora blush in the shade called Heated or number 16. And I just applied that to the apples of my cheeks and I also blended it in a little bit more using the beauty sponge. And because of course She-Hulk is green, I decided to give myself a nice shiny green highlight. So I used this green shade called Silico from the Powder Pro and ColourPop Cosmetics palette. And then I continued with mascara using the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara in black. And I just coated my top and bottom lashes with it. And then to prep my lips for lipstick, I decided to add on some Kiehl's lip balm. And then for lipstick, I used Max Cream Sheen in Koi Coral. And I really like this shade because I feel like it kind of looks like the one that she used. Again, that's just what I think. But also, I never used this lipstick, so it finally gave me a chance to use it. And here, my dogs are just bumping into me while they're playing around like crazy. So I bet by now you're starting to wonder, okay, so She-Hulk doesn't have red hair, girl, what the hell are you going to do about that? So I was thinking of buying a wig, but wigs are too expensive, so I figured I'd just use some L'Oreal Magic Root cover-up. And what I did is I just went in the restroom and I just sprayed like the front of my hair, just like the part that you can see. If I were going to like a costume party or something like that, I would actually buy like three cans of this stuff and then spray my whole hair with it if you don't want to use a wig. And honestly, I think it worked really well. And surprisingly, it actually didn't even stain my white shirt, so that was pretty cool. But then again, I did uh, spray my hair with my tank top and then after letting it sit for maybe like about like three minutes or so just in case. Then I put my white top and it came out fine. I don't know what kind of wave this was, sorry. And now here I am modeling my lawyer outfit to you guys. I don't have a briefcase, but I do have a Michael Kors bag that looks kind of like a briefcase. So, And if you are trick-or-treating or something like that, you could always just um, use it to keep your candy in there or whatever, or simply just to carry your stuff like your phone and whatnot. So now let's talk about the outfit. The skirt and the blazer I actually got from Amazon, so I will link it down in the description box below. 
The shirt, I got it from my local Ross. I just went after work one day and I tried to find a comfortable but nice uh, button down white shirt and the purse uh, I actually bought it like a long time ago and the shoes I've had them since forever I think I've had them since like eighth grade and they still fit me and they're still comfortable so those I think were from Walmart if I had any complaints about the outfit whatsoever it would probably be the blazer in the reviews people did say that the blazer was too big and the skirt was too tight and I do agree with that but in this case I did like that the skirt was tight only because I didn't want it to be like those loose skirts that wouldn't even give shape to your body so I'm glad that it fit I just would have wanted it to be a slightly bigger but other than that it was fine but the sleeves on the blazer were a little bit too big so I did just roll them up a little bit and then it was fine She-Hulk smash. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!